Yesterday, dad to be Gareth wowed the judges with his spicy bean stew and excelled in the pro kitchen. Can his two courses of pork belly and cherry clafouti pudding make it three in a row? Pork, onions, mashed potato. Yep. And clafouti. I've not actually done a cherry one before, so it's going to be uh, different. You decided not to sign up for the Air Force. That's right. And uh, not to take up cooking. Now you've got your chance. Absolutely, yes. It's something I've wanted to do for a very long time now. How are you going to win this competition, Go By creating good hearty meals with brilliant taste um, and for you two to really enjoy them. Gareth is making clafouti, a classic French dessert. That is technically difficult. Can he pull that dessert off? Trainee accountant Alice scraped through the invention test and had a disastrous restaurant round. Can she make up for it with her two technically demanding dishes? MasterChef is about finding a professional chef and being able to keep control in a professional kitchen. Yes. How was your day today? I had a couple of dishes that were sent back. But you're going to redeem that little mistake? I am, yes. I am doing a pan-seared fillet of venison with beetroot puree. And then for the next course, we're having a raspberry and almond tart and clotted cream. This whole changed your life, Alice. Why now? I'm almost about to get my Chartered Accountancy qualification. I've got the naive theory that restaurants fail either because you've got a foodie that knows nothing about business or a businessman that knows nothing about food. So I'm hoping that I've got a little bit of both. Venison and beetroot, lovely classic combination. I like the idea of it. Actually, it sounds like a really good dish. You're halfway. You have 30 minutes left. After impressing the judges yesterday with her pancakes and performing well in the restaurant, can Solicitor Rashner's two courses now secure her the quarter-final place? Asian-style food from you today. Yeah, I like fresh, clean flavours um, with a hint of the exotic. What are the two dishes that are going to make you win? Sea bass with a Thai noodle and carrot salad and uh, hot chocolate pudding with a cardamom cream. We have what we call death by chocolate corner. Right. <laughs> Where all the, the carcasses of those who've tried to cook chocolate puddings now sit I rotting. Only, I can only cross my fingers and hope that I get it right on the day. John, I love a chocolate pudding any time of day. I've seen so many collapse on MasterChef. You have five minutes. That's it, time's up. has cooked a classic menu of fillet of venison, beetroot puree, shallot tartin, mashed potato and red wine sauce, followed by raspberry and almond tart with clotted cream. What I've got there is that rich, deep, very, very good sauce against that very well-cooked, rich meat. The soft shallots coming through the pastry also very, very good indeed. I don't pick up potato in that. I'm not surprised. I'm not quite sure what the beetroot's doing there. I don't think it can hold up against the strong, strong flavours. Beautifully cooked, very rich, with a lovely, sweet, but yet almost bitter red wine reduced sauce. Love all that, actually. Really, really like it. Bring in your pudding. You've got the flavours right. Sweetness, buttery, almost almond marzipan, sharp but sweet raspberry coming through. There's no way near enough cream. More, more cream, please. I think it's pretty good. The pastry is really buttery. The raspberries are sharp inside. I like the flavour of those against the, the almonds. Your raspberry sauce is really raspberry rich. You could be a good little cook. Thank you. <laughs>